Hey, Sushi. Are you there? Hey, Brian. How's it going? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm in a big mess again. LOL. This is serious, Sushi. I need help. Okay, calm down. You can count on me. What's happening? Well, I guess I should start from the top. Here's what happened. A few days ago, Gina and I were on vacation in Hawaii. You know, sun, sand, daiquiris, the hula. Anyway, the thing is that Gina wanted to go to Tiki Falls on Mala Island. So, even though I didn't feel like it, we got up early one morning to go on our ill-fated little day trip. Oh, I'm so tired. Come on, man. I bet we're gonna have an amazing time. If you oh. say so. Come on. It'll be awesome. Come on, don't tell me you've never dreamed of seeing the waterfalls and the tiki... Platypus Tours, huh? Couldn't you find a more upscale agency? I called a few others, but they all told me their flights to Mala Island were temporarily canceled for some reason. That's weird. Oh, don't be such a worrywart. A really kind old man at Platypus told me there was no problem. We better get moving. The pilot is expecting us on the beach at 8 o'clock sharp. Well, kids, sure is a fine morning, isn't it? 
was perfect for flying over Zamala Island. I'm telling you, you're just gonna love them Tiki Falls and Temple. They are, like you kids say, totally awesome. Don't take this the wrong way, sir, but... Aren't you a bit age-challenged to be flying a plane? Brian, don't you think that was a bit rude? Forgive him, Otto. I'm sure you're a first-class pilot. Don't worry, hotcakes! I'm used to dealing with smart Alex like him. And don't you worry, dude. This old bird's wings are still a-flapping. So, let's get a move on and fly over to Mala Island. I can't wait to get there. Brian, cheer up that grumpy face and stop worrying. Okay. By the way, Otto, that hydroplane doesn't look like it's compliant with Hawaiian transportation safety standards. Oh, I assure you, there's no reason to fret. This sweet purring machine will keep you safer than Air Force One. <laughs> Here comes the breakdown. Oh, God. Somehow I knew this wouldn't have a happy ending. Come on, hurry! You have to jump! There must be some other way! Are you sure Otto kicked the bucket? He's flown to bluer skies, no doubt about it. And there's only one parachute. So get the thing on, because I'm opening the door. Well, let's jump together. I am not leaving you here in a crashing plane. No, Gina. The parachute won't hold us both. I can manage to land this contraption, but it's silly for both of us to risk our lives. No! I never jump without you! Hurry up, Gina. We'll see each other on the ground soon. I promise. No, Brian, please! <laughs> Plane. We were about to crash. Man, I can't believe I saved my skin this time. My poor body aches, but I don't think anything's broken. Just a few scratches. Ah! Otto! Where could he be? How weird. Otto is gone. I don't know. Maybe he was thrown from the plane when we crashed. Poor little devil. I feel awful for him. But he could have chosen some other time to fly the coop. I really get irked by people who make drastic decisions without consulting anyone else. seem to have crashed in quite a lush area. Well, the first thing I should do is find Gina. I saw from the plane that she was falling over a lake. I hope she didn't have any trouble swimming ashore to safety. She's probably searching for me, too. I'll be needing our backpacks before I set off to see where we've landed. Oh, 
Oh, man. They're not here either. Nothing. They vanished without a trace. What a bummer. They must have flown out when we crashed. Well, I'll just have to make do with what I have.